Uh, good morning and uh, welcome back to the Ohio farm. Five o'clock in the morning, July 3. We were up late last night, well after dark, trying to finish up. Well, we did finish up. Excellent. We did finish up the harvest contract over there. <clears throat> Um, if the Lazard looks a little different to you, not sure it does. Um, I applied an update to it and then I looked out at it and it was all white. So I had to go back and try to reconstruct what I thought I looked, thought it looked like. <clears throat> then I went back and found a, checked a video archive and found it looked different from what I thought I remembered so that's the closest I get it I think from memory and looking at it oh, it's still early that's nice um, I'm gonna go get the other two hay bales from the container field and we'll get them moved over here Speaking of updates, an update came to the old cow barn, the one that I wanted to use, and they changed it so that it produced manure and slurry, which is what I wanted and one of the main reasons I didn't use it. <clears throat> so now I guess I'm kind of torn. I mean, I did wait quite a while before I actually put in my cow barn. Um, so it took him some time to put that update in. So I do feel bad about it. I'd rather have the, that old cow barn just for the look I was going for. Not that there's anything wrong with the one that we have. But... Well... Not sure how that happened, but okay. Should have took them off the forks last night, probably. Gremlins. Gremlins got to it. Some more. Exactly what I wanted, but
field where we left that uh, borrowed semi parked last night. That should work, right? realize I need to be careful around there I might start unloading into the trigger of the uh, cow barn or cow shed rather <coughs> Let's see, what's the horsepower requirement on this? I can't even remember. I think it was pretty low. It requires 130. I don't have that. <clears throat> We'll get the JCB fast track and run it down over the container field to get the rest of the hay off of it.
I'll get this. Hey, off of the field here. It's not going to be much. to the bench. That's <laughs> that'll so be fine. around of equipment this morning. Here. <clears throat> Might as well take advantage of the early morning. While the dew burns off the crops on the contract fields that we've got to do. the combine here. When I get done with this, we'll do some maintenance on it. Get ready to put it away.
fourteen hundred dollars. Not bad. Now what's going on? I don't know I've towed this before. <clears throat> I swore I've used the pickup before to move that though. Machinery clean really only helps with the paint condition on it. I don't think it matters with the maintenance, but certainly makes maintenance easier when something's clean.
Not sure what it is, but I got a tickle in my throat today. Kind of scratchy voice and cough a little. I feel a little better right now though. Alright, so what am I doing? I'm putting this away. I figured out why the cover on the truck kept going back. It's because this bag of seed is inside the building here. So when I would park close to here, the trailer would sense it and the cover would roll back. All right, so what? Now the pickup's over. <laughs> okay. get the pickup at some point. Came over here to get the truck, take it over so we can get started on those contracts. Oh Lord, <laughs> that's close. So I'm arriving at the farm just to our south. And I think, uh, <clears throat> I think this is field 26. And we've got an oat harvest on it. And it's going to... Ohio Agri Co-op. Yeah, I think it's <clears throat> it's dry enough that we can harvest it. So yeah, we've been doing a lot of these contracts, trying to earn some money. I guess, really, when we sell our crop, which we had all wheat and barley this year, that's when we'll really have some money to do something with, but 
<clears throat> we'll earn what we can doing the contracts here as well. Uh, we do have all the straw bales that we can sell and the bunker silo. The silage is fermented, so it's ready that we could sell that. And I think we might as well could. Now the field I want to buy, I think it's got sunflowers in it right now. The one just behind the house at the west place, so to the west of the what we currently own. I want to put in a pasture for the calves too. Might be the first thing I should do. And I think we could probably do that now. So I was looking at one mod that's like an open pasture thing, and then you can build a fence around it afterwards. I thought that would be good because it's cheap, but then I realized once you buy the, or put all the fencing in, the price ends up going up to about the ones that come fenced in. So I may just do one that's already fenced. And then there is a grass field uh, south of the West Place that I was thinking about maybe buying and putting a pasture in as well. And maybe we could run beef cattle on that pasture. I don't know. We'll see. Get a pretty decent yield off of here. I wonder if I can make it down to this road at the bottom before we got it. Empty the grain tank on the harvester. This combine's got a hefty grain tank on it. I think it what holds like 10.5 or 11,000 liters. Really got to learn the conversion so I can talking bushels when I'm working on an American map, but since the game's kind of made by, I think, Giant Software is a German company, they're kind of European-centric a little bit, which is okay. All right, we're coming up on 80%. 80% is 10,000, man. Maybe it'll hold like 12 or 12.5, I can't remember. I think I know I've been using this harvester for a few days now. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a little cutout, make room for the truck. So what I like to do is I, I go to about 95% of the uh, grain tank capacity, then I'll back up and go in so I can leave some room for the truck to pull up next to it or the tractor with the trailer. There we go. Without having to go off the field into the trees or into the neighboring field, you never know what kind of 
terrain you'll be dealing with. There we go. Didn't back up as far as I probably should have, I guess. All right, we'll go get the truck. So I'm wondering, do you have a preference? Of seeing all the harvesting for the most part. So a time lapse with music and maybe jump cuts to make it run in the allotted time. Or do you prefer more of a jump cut to after it's all done yeah, oh yeah here I am I'm harvesting this field okay chat for a little while and then boom jump cut to it's all done we're doing something else now uh, I guess the episodes would go a little faster but it's farming simulator so my assumption is you kind of want to see some amount of farming I don't know I guess you'll get he you know, ask 10 people and you get 10 different opinions of varying degrees of yeah I like it this way or I like it that way I don't know On these America maps, the fields are so big, it's hard to find a song long enough. And PlayStation Share Factory, the editing, what, software application that I use, the fastest you can go in a time lapse feature they call Time Bender is eight times the uh, actual speed so if the original is eight minutes then I guess you can get it down to one minute but if something takes an hour it's still going to take uh, I don't know. That's math. Yeah, he could still end up, field takes you over an hour to do, he could still have a 10 minute time lapse. 
<coughs> which I have had. And I usually find a song and, and end up putting jump cuts in to make it match somewhat. Anyway, I'd be interested in hearing your comments on what you think would be a better or the best way for us to do this on the channel. Or I'll just keep doing it the way I've been doing it. And that is, in this case, we're probably going to start a time lapse right about now.
finishing up the oat harvest on field 26. As I was doing this, a couple of things kind of struck me. One is the uh, oats seem to be a lot lighter than wheat. We can fill the trailer uh, volume more with oats than we were able to with, like, say, wheat. Something that I thought was kind of odd as I'm doing this contract on this farm is that the farmer is having me deliver it to a sell point rather than putting in his very nice storage facility right here on his farm to wait for a better price which would seem to make more sense so I thought that was kind of odd but you know that's just sort of a game mechanics kind of thing be interesting if a map maker could do the contracts where you actually end up putting it in storage at the guy's farm for him rather than deliver it to a sell point and then uh, maybe make it a transport contract later on I don't know that would be kind of cool but I guess maybe not something for everyone right I'm going to put the header on the trailer here and get ready for the next the next contract, I guess. And go deliver that. When I don't see it snap in, I think I either did it wrong or I did a really good job. <laughs> Not quite sure which. Looking at the fuel, I probably should put a little more fuel. I put like 300 gallons in. Uh, probably should put a little more fuel in the combine for the next contract. Probably another 300 gallons ought to do it. Or sorry, liters. <laughs> All right, so this is going to Ohio Agri Co-op. So yeah, we're coming up on lunchtime. We're finishing this contract. I think uh, we'll get ourselves some lunch before we figure out what we're going to do next. we got another contract to do. Uh, yeah, I think we'll probably end this episode after we deliver this grain. Oats off of field 26. I don't remember what it was we're going to get paid, but I think we'll be pretty happy with it. All right, watch the top right corner here. Contract's complete. We're selling oats. We made 
on the excess crop from it. So yeah, we'll probably get paid another 15. 14361. So yeah, over $20,000 for that contract right there. That's pretty good. Sitting up about 141,000. So I think with that, we'll, we'll call this episode good. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me here on the Ohio farm. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you again next time.